Hello from Spoor IT and welcome to the Recurrent Payments app tutorial video. I'm gonna show you how to set the app up and provide your customers the possibility to subscribe to your products. I have the app already installed on my web store and here it is. Recurrent Payments is the all-in-one Shopify subscription app that's perfect for monthly subscriptions, subscription boxes and any recurrent billing products. Please note that the app does not charge customers automatically, but sends email invoices only. Ok, let's configure our first invoicing rule. First of all, we should select products to which the rule will be applied by clicking this button. Here you can filter products by title or collection. Let's select this Nescafe coffee for our rule. The next step has two options. Using the first one, the customer will not be able to choose the subscription's periodicity. Here we should set a certain number of weeks or months. The second option allows customers to choose subscription options – weekly, monthly or enter the number of weeks or months. The last option in this tab allows you to provide a discount if a customer subscribes. It makes the subscription option much more attractive. In the next step, we should configure the rules mailing settings. Here we can select an invoice email template. Now we have only the default one and new templates can be created in the email settings section of the app that I will tell you about a bit later. Templates can be viewed and edited by clicking here. Using this checkbox, you can limit the subscription in time. You can configure the app to send a reminder if a customer didn't pay the invoice on time. Here you can select when a reminder should be sent, between two emails with invoices or in a certain number of days after the due date. Please note that the notification won't be sent if it is scheduled after the next invoicing period comes. Here we can select the email template for the reminder. Now we have only the default one. Ok, let's save our first invoice in rule. After the first rule is created, we should perform a one-time setup in order for the app to work well. In the first block, we have to set the widget's location and selectors of the Add to Cart button and card subtotal amount. The app sets up selectors for all popular themes automatically. Now we should approve the default selectors or set different ones. If you want to change these settings, you can do it here. Let's select the widget's location at first. After clicking the Choose button, which will redirect me to a random product page of my store, I should press the Shift button and select an element relative to which the widget will be placed, and then select Position, above or below the element. Don't forget to click Save after the selection. The same thing should be done with the following two selectors. Please note that you must select the elements exactly. I will do it now to show you how to do it correctly. The choose and click function may not work on some themes because all themes are different and specific so please contact us if it doesn't work correctly and we will configure it in a flash. If your current theme uses an Ajax slider or pop-up card, then you should configure the app to work with it. Here you should select the Ajax card subtotal element the same way you did in the previous step. This text will be displayed on the Add to Cart button while adding a subscription to cart. In the next section we can see the widget's preview and customize its content. In the first field you can rename the one-time purchase option and in these two fields you can rename subscription options with and without a discount. If you are offering a discount, you can use the discount variable which will be replaced with the actual discount amount. This field allows you to place additional information on the widget. The last option of this section is the Enable Subscribe option by default checkbox. If this box is checked, then the subscription option will be selected when a customer visits a product page. In the last section of the app's general settings, you can set a certain tag that will be applied to orders containing subscriptions. Ok, let's save the settings. This is the main page of the app. Here you'll see the list of your invoicing rules. You can see the statistics by clicking this button. Now the rule is created and all the settings are configured, so let's take a look at the storefront. Here is the app's widget. Let's try to subscribe. Perfect. The product is marked as recurring and the discount is applied. Works excellent. Now let's take a look at the email settings section of the app. Here are the default templates I selected in the rules mailing settings. Here we can edit them or create new ones. Let's create a new invoice mail template. This is the template editor. Here we should select template type, invoice or reminder. In the next field we can set the email message subject. In this section we can edit message content. Let's customize it. 
Done. This column username variable will be replaced with the actual customer's name. Please note that it cannot be used in the subject field. Except for the content of this window, the customer will also see the payment button below, unsubscription instruction, and after unsubscription he will see this confirmation. Unsubscription instruction and confirmation can be edited by clicking here. Once the template is configured, you can check how it looks by sending yourself a test email using this section. Ok, let's save our invoice template and select it in the rules settings. Great, now let's take a look at the design section of the app. Please note that this preview has random content, so it's not the actual widget. Let's change the widget's look and make it fit the store. Done, let's save and check the storefront. Yep, looks perfect. And that's all. If you face any difficulties or need personal design adjustments, please don't hesitate to contact us by using the built-in chat inside of the app or email our support team at the email address you see on the screen. Our fast and friendly support team is available 24/7 and we're always glad to help you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please click like, subscribe to our channel and leave 5 star reviews in the Shopify App Store. Good luck to your business. Sell more and stay awesome.